Hello Pisces, welcome to a short and quick or short and sweet <laughs> reading all about love, who or what is coming towards you in love and what can you expect next. As always, this is meant to be a general love reading so it will not resonate with every Pisces watching. So just keep that in mind that not every reading is meant for you. Um, check out your other placements. I'll have the link to every playlist in the description box for the different signs so you can check your moon, your rising, and any other sign that's significant to you. All right, so let's get into this for Pisces. For Pisces in love. Who or what is coming towards Pisces in love spirit? Oh. Okay, we have balancing act, juggling indecision balance. Okay. What else? What else for Pisces? Who or what is coming towards Pisces? Who or what is coming towards Pisces? In love. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Bottom of the deck, religious factors. Okay, I feel like this could be about anything. But what I'm picking up from Balancing Act so far is doubt. I'm picking up doubt from this card. Like someone is unsure. I just see, okay, the Six of Swords and the Fool. So this could be about moving on to something new. But I'm picking up that someone's like not sure about this. So we'll see what we get with the Tarot. Now you've known each other this if I could speak, you've known each other before that clearly there's a past here. I just I don't know if it's a past life. I think this is someone that you probably have already met or know of. Tell me more for Pisces. Tell me more spirit for Pisces regarding love. Who or what is coming towards Pisces in love? Let's see. Two of Pentacles, <laughs> Temperance, Sagittarius energy. I just find it so funny that that card came out. And then Six of Cups, the past. Okay, so this is like, I feel this is gonna be a very clear cut reading. Bottom of the deck, the Magician and the Nine of Pentacles. So someone's trying to make something happen here. Manifest. Um, use every tool that they can to get to a goal and I feel the goal is harmony resolution with the temperance card but let's start with the two of pentacles why is the two of pentacles here for Pisces why is the two of pentacles here knight of pentacles why is the two of pentacles here two of pentacles Five of Cups, Disappointment, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Five of Swords, okay, something happened here in the past. The Moon, there you are, Pisces, bottom of the deck. Something happened in the past, I feel like someone mistreated you in the past or deceived you, disappointed you, fill in the blank. I feel like that's why someone's not sure about this Knight of Pentacles. They don't know if maybe you're gonna accept them with the moon here. There's the Nine of Wands. Uh, maybe they think that you don't trust them, which, you know, maybe there's a good reason for that. Maybe they figure you're gonna be very guarded against them. Um, maybe they just don't know how this offer would be received. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here? The High Priestess. So I feel like this is an offer coming in like out of the blue or you don't expect it or like it's like a, an offer that someone has kept to themselves until it's time to give it, if that makes sense. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Justice, Libra energy. So is this somebody that hopes to make things right with this offer? Um, there's fear though, nine of swords, um, uncertainty. Um, yeah, and there's an empress. It's because they're coming to an empress, an empress energy, someone with a lot of value, someone that has maybe evolved into something 
way better than a knight. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like this is someone that wants to to bring back balance with harmony. I mean, with temperance and justice here. Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Why is temperance here? King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Why is temperance here? The Devil, Capricorn energy. The Sun, okay. Hmm. Interesting. I, I I'm getting very strange energy from this King of Wands. With with these two energies together, it could be that this is someone that's kind of obsessed with this idea, with this goal um of rebalancing. Um this King of Wands is reminding me of the Magician, someone that really wants something. Um, but I'm wondering if the intention is, is the right one. Tell me more about this King of Wands and the Devil. Spirit, what can you tell me about this King of Wands and the Devil? What can you tell me about these two energies for Pisces? King of Wands and the Devil. Four of Swords. The Star. Okay. Okay healing aquarius energy with the star so i think okay queen of wands at the bottom of the deck and the moon again so i think this is someone that really does want to fix things aquarius maybe they just don't have the right approach maybe you know it's not the intention that's the problem it's the way they're they're approaching the problem um or approaching you um i feel like you don't really know what this person is thinking or feeling at this time uh, and neither do they. So there could be a, a possibility that you're not talking to this person. You're not interacting with this person. Um, I feel like they, they're scared of not being able to bring back balance to this connection. Maybe they're scared of losing you. Uh, because I have the Five of Cups here. So I know there's regrets at least or disappointment. Maybe enough time has passed for them to change in some way or you know maybe it's not good enough now you know it's going to be up to you i feel just because someone apologizes and begs for forgiveness and you know tells you they want to work on things doesn't mean you have to accept that right it's going to be completely up to the other person especially if they were the ones that did something they shouldn't have tell me about the six of cups What's going on here with the Six of Cups? Death, Scorpio energy. What's going on with the Six of Cups? The Hermit, Virgo energy. Yeah, this ended and I feel like there was a distance between you and this person. Um, I feel like when this ended, uh, at least one of you withdrew. Tell me about the Six of Cups. I think someone still thinks about this though. The Six of Pentacles, another card about balance and giving and taking. Um, two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. And the Fool, right behind that. So a new beginning here, a, a risk for love, for a partner. Um, I feel like what happened here is some, this clearly ended or went through a big change in the past. Um, or maybe it just recently ended, Pisces. But... I almost think like someone realized that this wasn't fair uh, and maybe they feel bad and they want to rebalance things. Another message that I just got is that the grass was not greener on the other side. So if this person left thinking they were going to get something else um, or have something better, I feel like it, it, it didn't work out and now they're back.
I get one more for death of the hermit. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, a Virgo. There's a lot of signs here. Aquarius, Capricorn, fire is here, and even Earth, Libra as well. Tell me about the death card and the hermit. Why is death and the hermit here? Why is death and the hermit here? Queen of Swords. Someone got caught, cut off. Couldn't even say that. Um... And I feel like the other person wants to reach out. This person is probably observing your, your social media or seeing pictures of you. They might even have already tried to text you or call you. Um, but I feel you're very distant from this person, maybe because of what happened. Maybe you moved away or something like that. Um, but I feel like this person is going to want to reach out and talk about maybe that they made a mistake or that they want to fix things. What's next for Pisces? What can Pisces expect? What can Pisces expect? What can Pisces expect? What's next? What's next for Pisces? Page of Wands, yeah. I feel like someone's going to reach out here with a message. Take the initiative. Ten of Wands. Four of Pentacles. So I feel like um, this person, okay, I'm seeing two messages here. The first message is that this person has been holding on to you this whole time. Um, they, they maybe have a lot going on. Uh, and it took them, it took them courage to um, come forward. Yeah, I have the magician after that. So this is someone that really wanted this. They really want to talk to you, um, to talk about what happened. For others of you, I feel like you, you've had enough of this person. This person, all they did was weigh you down and... Um, I feel like you still feel a pull towards this person. It's almost like you're fighting with yourself whether you should give this person another chance. I see both of those messages. Can I get one more for these two? Page of Wands and Ten of Wands. The Moon, Pisces Energy. Nine of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck and the Chariot, Cancer Energy. Some of you are wondering if this person is truly free, single, independent, if um, what they have to offer is really genuine. Um, this is somebody that is probably a really good dresser, uh, very attractive, or just very charismatic. I feel like that makes things more difficult. I think some of you really resent this person for leaving in the first place or for hurting you in the first place. And I feel like a lot of you are going to be very doubtful of taking them seriously or like um, doubting what they're saying to you. Now, if it helps, I don't think this person is, their intentions are terrible. Um, I really feel like this person does want to fix things. I mean, it's, it's in every of these, in every spread, something came out about balance. Um, but again, I feel like it's going to be completely up to you that this person is forgiven and also i feel like this is probably an unexpected message from this person with the moon because the moon has come up so many times that i feel like you probably don't know what this person is thinking or feeling especially here with the high priestess and justice like you don't even know that this person wants to fix things but they do so maybe when they come forward and you don't expect it it might kind of rattle you a little bit you know so some of you are dealing with a, a person who has children and that's always been a problem in your connection that's still if you're wondering if that's still going to be a problem in the future it is someone needed to hear that okay let me know um, if this resonated for you down in the comments i'd love to hear from you thank you so much for watching your like share subscribes if you enjoyed the reading please consider subscribing for more videos from me liking the video that really helps out and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.